Hi everyone, I'm back again. So today I'm reviewing the Sharp R959 SLMAA combination microwave. So as you can see, it's a pretty big oven. So it's ideal for a large family or a large kitchen. You've got the Sharp logo there, and at the bottom here you've got the wattage and the rating. This one is at a 900 watt and it's an E rating. So these are all the options you can choose from. There is quite a selection. And you've got the LCD display up here green lights I'm not sure whether it's lights or an, an LCD display I'm not sure but never mind you've got three time settings you've got 10 minutes 1 minute and 10 seconds so basically if you wanted to heat stuff up such as a ready meal let's say for five and a half minutes so you press the five minute you press the one minute five times until you get five minutes and then press the 10 seconds three times and then there you go you've got five minute 30 and then press start and away it goes <clears throat> you've got micro power, grill, convection and combi so for the micro power you've just got to choose in the time first so four minutes and then select the cooking mode so basically what you've got to do is choose in the power that you want the microwave to be at <clears throat> so it goes down from 100, 70, 50, 30 and then 10 the minimum and then 0% which is basically no power whatsoever um, and then you just press start and away it goes. It goes back up to 100 there. So you've got the grill button. So basically you've just got to choose in the time first. And then press the grill button again and then press start and away it goes. So it's nice and simple. You've also got convection. So if you press this, you've got to choose in the temperature that you want the convection oven to be at. goes down to 40 and then back up to 250 so that's the maximum temperature you can have on this convection oven and then choose in the time and then just press start so after you press start it will say preheat on the display so basically what it will do is it will preheat itself till it gets to the right temperature once it's done that it will then tell you when it's ready and then just put in the item and then press start and then it will cook it for you so it's a nice easy way of doing that. You've got three express, no you haven't, you've got combi which is basically a mixture of everything. So you can do this with, I'll just do the cooking time first. So you can have this at the microwave and the convection at the same time. Or you could also have grill and the microwave at the same time as well. So basically what will happen is it will uh, heat, it will heat it up with the microwave and then the grilling elements will come on and then um, it will do a bit of both so it's quite handy you've also got three express cook functions you've got roast beef and lamb roast pork and roast poultry so what it will then ask you to do is um, choose in the weights using this weight control here and then just press start once it's ready You've also got express defrost and uh, same applies with chicken portions, steak and chops and minced meat. So it will ask you to choose in the weight, place in a flan dish. You've got auto cook menus, you've got eight of them so we're going to go through them. So you've got number one which is chilled ready meals. So it will ask you to choose in the weight to remove outer package, pierced film etc. Number two, which is frozen ready meals. We've got number three, <clears throat> which is crispy crumb foods. Remove out a package. Place on the high rack. And to the weight. Number four, which is oven ready pizza. <clears throat> Remove out a package. Place on the low rack. Enter weight. Got number five, which is oven chips. Place on the high rack. Enter weight. Number six, which is baked potatoes. Place on the turntable. Enter the quantity. You can do this by placing, pressing the weight control, and then you can do it from there. Uh, got number seven, which is Rice and pasta. Add boiling water. 
do not cover. And then the last one, number eight, which is cake. Follow the recipes in the cookbook. Place on the low rack, enter the weight. There's two more other functions here. You've got kitchen timer, so basically it's just a timer. So just click this and then choose in the time required. And then press start and then it, what it will do afterwards, it will beep once the time is up so the microwave won't actually come on. You've also got auto minutes, so basically um, if you wanted to heat stuff up for just one minute, you just got to press this and it will start automatically with one minute. So this is what it sounds like. So it's quite quiet actually, it's nice and smooth. You've also got stop clear and start and you've got again you've got the wattage down here. So um, you've got this nice big handle which you can just pull and then the door opens. So this is what it's like on the inside. So you've got a massive capacity of 40 litres which is quite ideal because you can fit in everything from a delicious roast or um, a big item. You know it's nice and spacious in there. So you've got the grilling elements here for the grill got the waveguide there, you've got the nice big white turntable which is quite easy to wipe up after any spillages. You've also got the light on the top right corner which I like and you've got the inside of the window here. So um, yeah I like the way that it's all stainless steel, it really stands out good. Um, but yeah it's a nice interior, you know it's nice and big and spacious. So um, these, this is the equipment that it comes with. It comes with two baking trays for the convection oven. And it also comes with these two racks. So you've got the low rack and the high rack for the grill. So that's about everything. Um, so I bought this from Amazon. Um, I think Curry's used to sell these, but um, unfortunately they're out of stock in Curry's now. But um, yeah, you can still purchase these on um, Amazon I think, um, well I got this from Amazon, so I've had this for two years now, it was two years in February, so what I'll do is, um, I will be doing a video of the, I'm going to be demonstrating the grill function in the next video, but um, I tend to use this just for heating stuff up and the grill, I don't use any of the other features. I think I did try to use the convection oven before, but um, it was quite hectic, so I just use the microwave features and the uh, the grill. I don't use any of these, but never mind. So yeah, I highly recommend this microwave. It's um, I give it a 10 out of 10, and it's ideal for a large family. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.